Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will try to learn about encoder. How we can use the encoder in FATEC PLC. But before start this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. This way you will be never miss my upcoming videos. So let's get started. First of all, we will open our WinPro letter software and here we will configure the IO configuration. Load from PLC or put project IO numbering and click it OK. And you will got, got this window. And here is we have to be configuring configure this SHSC0. This is the first encoder. You can use also many encoders up to H7 encoders. But we will using this first encoder HSC0. So here we have to be configure this hardware counter. And this two phase encoder we are using in the AB phase. We are using this with this encoder. And click it, this one AB OK. And then you have to be select X0. First input of your PLC. And second X1 will be by default it's coming. This is phase 1. Here also he is showing phase A and phase B will be X1. And if you use this X1 is first phase for example, this one after your X2 will be your second pulse. So next in mask relay we will use for X2 and for example for clear the counter we will use the X3 and click it OK. Your configuration will be completed. And in next what we do? Simply choose one function and here we have to be right inside the 92. You will got the high speed encoder and click it OK. And here we will choose this one HSC0 our first counter uh, encoder. And next again we will choose one function and we will use the command INC increment command. Why use this increment command? Because of we have to be store this data of our high speed encoder in this data register. And here we will choose this R46960 4096. This is the data register of high speed encoder. And click it OK. And next one more function we will choose this we will choose compare command cmp cmp when we write we choose this a compare command not sorry this is not compare command we will use we use the division command d i v because of this in a later i will explain you why we use this division command let's finish this program here i will write r4096 and here how much i like to be divide with my this value of uh, uh, this total bits for example d0 we will choose and here we will choose d10 for example we got the answer in D10 and click it OK. And here one more input we will use for X3 which is we defined in our configuration to clear the counter. So click it OK. Almost this our program is completed and one two lines more I will make for our next program compare CMP because of D10 when equal with for example 100 equal with 100 after my one output will be energized Y0 for example Y0 and when greater than the value of 100 my y 
one will be operated. So now our almost program is completed now, but I like to explain you this one. Division command why we use this one? Why use this division command in the program? Basically, this count encoder giving the bits, not any length or something. This giving the bits when we rotate the encoder after it generates some bits. And how we can use this bits, for example, with the tiny length or how to measure means. So simply we use this uh, division command. For an example, in simple words, if I like to explain you, if any motor, for example, travels at a, any specific distance, and this distance is, for example, 20 mm or 30 mm, or 50 mm or 100 mm whatever this distance which you like to be measure the uh, area after you have to what to do you use the division command how use the division command when this bits are generated for example 2000 or 4000 bits are generated at your for example 100 mm area and you have to be divide here total bits divide by which is your original length 100 mm or 200 mm or 300 mm when you like to write here when you write it here at the d0 100 mm 200 mm 300 mm which is your specific length after your accurate position will be displayed at here at the d10 and d10 will be display as this d10 we will take at the hmi and we can see our original how much any uh, position of the our machine so now let's we go in also our hmi program so i open my easy builder pro and here we will choose this d0 d0 for what we are using this is our which is the total our area this is our length for example 200 mm 300 mm 400 mm which is our for example this is the calibration point and this is our length will be show which our position means our position shows at the d10 d10 and d0 we have to be used this is the d0 and this is the d10 and also and this program we will download to the hmi but before downloading this also chapter i will explain to you this next in again this d10 why i use this d10 for an example you want to stop your machine at 100 mm for example and this 100 mm will be come at your this d10 and this 100 mm when equal with d10 after your y0 will be on or off if it's on your motor will be stop and if it's off your motor will be off and this is the purpose of how many commands in next program you can use this with the d10 100 mm if you like to stop at 100 mm you use this 100 and if you like to be stop at the 200 mm 300 mm 400 mm but better than this one you have to be use it here also data register stop the plc first and here we will use this one data register also d30 we will use because which where you like to be stop this d30 we will use so make it run again run plc and simply get sure and go to the easy builder and here one more we will make the data register control c and make it here control v and this i will make it anywhere we can place it here for example this here we will make it no problem this is our d30 okay d30 and d30 is what which length you want to stop your machine this don't forget this is our total length where we like to be stop the machine and here we also will take one go to the object and take one bit lamp which is we will use for y0 
and you can make it here on and off also you can see we'll make it a little bigger so you can see which we will write the value here after this value links with this our input or uh, sorry output and this is our which length we like to be divide for calibration and this is our total length coming any yani total bits are coming or mm which is mm for example and this is we now download to the plc uh, sorry hmi it just took little seconds and as this is completed after it will be show here is final and after we will make it exit but before down uh, before uh, in downloading during the downloading don't put this exit now it's called all finished you now you can make it exit now your program is ready in the hmi and also we can see in the at uh, our camera if i can show you this is our camera and this is our encoder for example i will make it little uh, zoom so you can easily see okay so now it's uh, what's showing cable and it will be show our original length see now it's showing now and we will go to our program here also this we will make it down and here we will check our program but this program now cannot show because of we uh, remove the cable of our uh, plc this is just we can see it here in our camera just and already i explained to you but only just we can see this is the d0 is of our calibration point and d0 which data register we will make we will make this data register and this data register we will now change the value for example this is the 8 value and we will choose it the your total bits are for example 200 and you will make it this one with the 50 mm you can write it here 50 and your will be original length will be shown and here we have to be on off with our this indicator or our for example output of motor this is for example we will see at the 60 when our value will be reached at 60 after this output will be on 57 58 59 and 60 as 60 will be completed it will be make it on and off and this encoder when simply when we rotate the encoder after value will be increase and decrease and this is your set point for example you needed this value at the 100 you like to be stop at 100 your motor 100 mm sorry 60 this is if you make it 100 click the 100 and your encoder will be works at the 100 and move slowly slowly 9 8 and 99 and 100 when it's reached at 100 mm your machine will be stopped so i think so this is the easiest way to the use encoder in the plc and you can measure the length how much is your exact position you many many uh, machines you can use for example sharing machines any cnc machines or whatever where you like to be using linears linear also in inshallah will be next video i will tell you how we can use the linear for this uh, measuring this length so i hope guys you understand about this uh, program to configuration the encoder if not understand anything you can send me the message in comment section i will give you feedback as soon as possible so thanks for watching allah hafiz